Hello, hello. Today I am back with more of uh, Pacrius, I believe is the name of the game. Uh, and I guess, real quick, I just need to recatch this rabbit. Which I don't think I actually remember how to do based off of that. Um, okay. Let's see if I can remind myself real quick how I actually am supposed to catch this fella. Because I have... Oh, I, I remember now. Uh, then I just switch to this one, and this should work. There we go. Okay, let's get on to the next level now. And that's definitely not where I want to drop down, so I'm going to just go back up. And I'll just use the normal hole. Okay, the normal hole doesn't work either, so I'll drop down. Not there either. Uh, let's try this square. Nope. Not particularly sure how I am going to catch this fella. But I will just jump back up, take one square into this wall, and see if that's enough. No, it's not enough at all. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not particularly sure. If I can't drop there either, um, I'm just going to dig through this wall and uh, try dropping over here. And That's also not far. Oh, it's because there's a carrot, isn't there? Yeah, it has nothing to do with... Whether or not I actually drop in there doesn't. Yeah, no, it's just a carrot up there. Which means, um, if I can drop in that square instead, I can. That should be good enough. There we go. Now I just need to, uh, I'm just gonna dig a pit here so it won't go there. At least that's my current solution. Now I need to see if I can actually trap this rabbit anywhere. Um, that's a good question. Because I need to find a dead end if I want to get it stuck somewhere. Or I try and get it to go where the other rabbit is. Although I don't think that one actually doesn't work because I can't access that rabbit afterwards. So, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna walk around here real quick and see where this guy goes. Okay, well, it goes in there. So, if I instead make a hole here real quick, I can at least get it over to where the other one is. Okay. Okay, no, I can't. Um, alright, let's just go back a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, I can lower it over to this carrot, I think, by breaking that. Whoops. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not sure, actually. Let's see. How do I do this now, is the real question. Hmm. Guess I can drop down and then jump back up, but that's just the same effect as me having done that originally. Um. Huh. Uh, and yeah, obviously that doesn't work. Hmm. What if I, if I were to go up, actually, that's going to require me to do a good number of moves, but can I drop one square closer down? Yes, I can. There we go. Now, then, I can just put this hole here, and, um... Hmm. 
Not sure what this actually accomplishes for me that my other setup didn't. Well, I can mine that square. Although, I'm going to run into the same issue now. Uh, well, yeah, that happens. Okay. Hmm. Not actually sure where I'm going to want to go with catching this rabbit then. Let's just, uh, I'm just going to jump back up here real quick and then drop back down. Just because I need to see if I can think of an actual pathway to getting these rabbits stuck anywhere. And the carrots are making this particularly bothersome. Um, let's see. While I'm thinking about that, I'm going to go capture this rabbit, since maybe that one will give me ideas. Okay, well, capturing it like that is not correct. But, what if I did this and then jump back up? Okay, it goes there, but if I dug here, it's going to go the same exact area. Okay. And if I do this, it does the same thing. Um, okay. Let's see. To catch this guy. I can, I'm going to start by putting a hole here. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's a new way to catch them, I guess, is I'll just put them in an infinite loop. Because it'll tire them out eventually. I wasn't aware of that one. But that's one rabbit down. Now we'll see. How do I get this other one, though? Because I can't see a way to trap it in a loop at all. And I can't see a great way to force it to go into a dead end. At least currently. Um. Hmm. For starters, I'm just going to dig a hole here and get myself set up to at least stop the rabbit from immediately leaving. Um. Hmm. If I do that. I can then, I guess, break this one. I don't... Yeah, actually, that doesn't do anything for me. Let's go back real quick. Uh, I'll try breaking that one instead. This, this way... Okay, I can force it actually back around here. So, if I... had a better way to uh, block it... Using that, I might potentially actually be able to trap it somewhere. Just by looping it around here, like this. But then if, if I ever let it go up too much, it's going to just see that. Um, if, I, if only I could get a hole back here instead of up there. If only I could do that. But I don't see a great way to do that. Oh, if I just drop... Oh, there we go. I just need to drop there, actually. Now then, I can, uh, let's see. I can put a, hmm. I'll put a hole here while I'm thinking about what I actually want to do. Because <clears throat> I feel like I can, if I uh, were to put a hole here, I could potentially, no, not do that. Um, okay, that's not going to work either, because it's just going to get stuck in there. Uh, let's see. If I do that, then at least now I can get it back in here. Although, yeah, it's just going to loop around again, so let's undo all of that. Um, okay.
How do I want to actually trap this rabbit is the important question here. As I could, um, huh. Because I think breaking the square I broke is the ideal place, uh, square to break at. If only I could find a way to not have that happen when I forced him, or when I went down. Um, because yeah, if I do that, he's just going to get stuck there instead. Um, let's see, if I do something like this, I don't see how this is going to actually work. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Um, hmm. Because I don't want it to go up to the top one, because it'll just get stuck there. And then... At that point, there isn't really much of anything I can do to get it back out. And I don't think I can see a way to get it to go in an infinite loop. Oh? Huh? Hmm. What if I... No, that doesn't work. I'm just trying to think of anywhere I can actually get this guy to talk in. It's the issue of me uh, doing the thing I did where I dropped down here is mainly I'm not sure if I can actually get the rabbit stuck anywhere afterwards. Uh, what if I were to drop down here instead? Is this go yeah, it's just gonna go there actually, so that's not it. Um, okay. Now that I have it, yeah, if I ever move off that column, it just gets itself trapped immediately. So, let's see. That's gonna not work again. Um, okay. What if I, let's see. Is if I let into this other area, then it's going to eventually see that other carrot and get stuck there instead, which is not ideal. If I I'm trying to think of what squares I can, or what areas I can actually mine into, because if I do this, then I can. No, it'll just get stuck there still. Yeah. Okay. Um. Currently, if it ever goes up, it's going to see this rabbit again, uh, see that carrot, and then get stuck. So for now, let's try just letting that happen. Uh, no, that, it doesn't work because I can't access it from the top to force it to go back down. Uh, okay. Let's try this. I don't think this is going to work, but yeah, no, it just gets stuck there now. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a tricky one. I'm not sure how I can actually trap this rabbit anywhere. For now, let's see, I'm going to try, uh, just, I'm going to once again try doing my, uh, hole in a different spot. Um, if I do it here, then what else can I do differently? I can still... Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, if I ever leave this square, I have to put a hole here to stop them from going to the top. So if I do something like that... Then it'll go there, and the second I approach it from below, it's going to go up to the other carrot. Um, hmm. And there's no way for me to, no, I've right, I could have dropped down into that square. I've 
try that. And there's no way for me to drop down into the top square, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, let's just check that. Oh, no, that's just that square. I can, I'm gonna try dropping down there instead. Because now I get this. In which case, I can just let it go towards the carrot. Uh, well, it won't actually go towards the carrot. Okay. Hmm. Um, let's see. What if instead I drop down here, I mine this one, then I'm stuck, actually. If I mine this one... Then he'll, yeah, he's gonna go there, so I can't do that. If I mine this, and then I, uh... Yeah, now the issue I'm running into is I can't find a way to not have him go to the carrot still. Um, let's see. Because if I ever let it go up here, it's just gonna, it's gonna go here and then get stuck up there. And I don't have a great way I can avoid that. If there was a way for me to force it to have to go up, that would be something I'd like to, or I could go for, but I don't see a way to make that happen. So yeah, I'll just get stuck there again. Hmm. Let's see. And I can't dig a square higher. Um, hmm. Challenge I'm running into is I'm not particularly sure why the AI does, why the AI will immediately go up here when it's still considered a dead end. And like in this case. Not sure why the AI in that case goes up, but not in some of the other cases. Uh, can I get down? Can I just drop into this square though? Uh, let's see, which square is that? That's. No, I can't drop into that square. And I can't drop into the one at the other diagonal. Okay. Um. Hmm. If I approach it from below, it's just going to go here. Oh, I can pick up carrots? Oh, oh, I can pick up carrots. I didn't know that. That helps a lot. And yeah, it's going to just get stuck there. Okay, well, if I can pick up carrots, that actually changes a good number of things. In that case... Um, if I can pick them up, then I'm obviously going to take that one. Let's see. Do I even... No, I need to take the other one, too. Is there a way for me to get it stuck somewhere now? If I were to... Um... Well, obviously doing that before placing a carrot's not going to work. What if I put one there? Now it's going to go here, and then, hmm, if I dig a hole here, that's obviously going to just go that way then, um, hmm. Okay, I have a better idea. Now that I know I could just retrieve a carrot to bring it back, I don't see a reason why I shouldn't just uh, do something like this, and then pick up this carrot. Because then I can potentially trap it by digging a hole somewhere. Hmm. To make a dead end that doesn't look like a dead end initially. Um...
Is it possible for me to do that with a hole, though? That's the more important question. Because I can drop elsewhere if there's a... Oh, yeah, there is a spot that doesn't require me to dig, actually, so I'm going to drop there instead. Because now I can get the carrot, which means I can lure it back out. But first, I need I want to make a place I can trap it in uh, before I do that. Um, hmm. Where is... where do I want to trap it? Actually, I don't even need to use a hole. I can just do this. And then I place a carrot there, and there we go. That's a... Uh, that one was a bit trickier, but... Um... This is going to involve the next floor down, I'm assuming, actually. And not really have anything to do with this floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is exactly what it does. And I just have a cage. Um, okay, how do I... There are two rabbits here. I think I need to just destroy all four squares surrounding the rabbits, and then I can catch it. So from where I am now, I need to do three down, and then once in a circle from that. Three down... And then I jump up here, I'll dig one here, I'm going to do that, now then, um, okay, where is it, I'm not sure where I want to set up a cage to actually trap it, um, I think, oh well I don't even have a cage. Okay, great. So that doesn't work yet. Hmm. Uh, let me just... I'm going to drop down the hole real quick. If I can destroy... Uh, hmm. I want to destroy... Let's see. If it's possible for me to get the square three below this bunny on the left, and then the three ones surrounding it in a circle, not the far right one, I think I can actually trap it. No, I need to do it at the top instead. Yeah, if I can do the one at the top like that, uh, I cannot do that. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work. Because now I can get the rabbit here. The problem is I'm not sure how I can actually trap it from here. Uh, hmm. Let's just undo that for a second. Because I can... Uh, let's see. Where could I trap this rabbit now? Uh, hmm. Not particularly sure where I'd actually want to get it stuck now. I could get it stuck on the left side of the cage, potentially, actually. That's something I could do. So we will try to do uh, that. Or, that's the right square, isn't it? No, it is not. Of course, it's another square behind a wall, so I actually can't really do that. Um, Let's instead, in that case, I'm just going to give it an area to leave. And we'll see where I can actually trap it from here. Okay, so I've actually just put it in a loop. So, um... How else can I get this rabbit stuck somewhere? If I could force... Oh, I just need to force the two rabbits to stack on top of each other, I think. So then I just need to give enough area for this first rabbit to leave, which means I'm going to get rid of this one, essentially, and uh, this one, I think. Let's just see what this forces it. Okay, so that's not going to work. I need to get rid of uh, at least this one. 
And then I'm going to destroy these three. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I dig here and drop down here, now that gets the rabbit stuck as well. What if I drop here? That's going to get the rabbit stuck. Okay. What if I instead, instead of digging that one, dig this one? And then dig these three holes. Okay, rabbit gets stuck again. Um, let's see. I'm just going to, for now, determine the minimum number of holes I need uh, to let the rabbit escape. I think it's three, right? Yeah, it's three. So if I dig one hole on the entrance of the other one, which I'm not sure if I can actually do. Uh, let's see. I don't think I can actually do that without destroying a block again. Um, hmm. Yeah, because I need to have a hole in each of these two, just to even give it a chance to escape. Um, um. What if I just dig a hole at the spot I'm at right now? Can I do it in less? I think I need to have three and end up dropping in on this spot. Uh, that was the wrong spot for a hole. Something like this. And that's going to work effectively the exact same way as before. Oh, there is just a cage in the middle. So maybe it makes more sense for me to use one hole to destroy one of these ones adjacent to the cage so I can pick it up. Like that. Because now I can get the cage. And now that I have a cage, I might actually be able to force it to do things. Um, let's see. For now, I'm going to just put the cage here while I think about how I want to trap this rabbit. Uh, okay. Oh, that's... Well, that's a convenient enough idea that I think I will pursue doing that. Oh, it's nowhere. How does it see down that pathway? I'm not particularly sure how it actually sees that there was a cage here, even though it was going down and up. Uh, I don't really know how, how or why it saw that. Uh, let's see. For now, I am going to try and get this rabbit up to the top. And, yeah, now it's back in here. Uh, okay. If I were to jump up and then uh, drop back down now, do I not? Oh, yeah, I don't have the cage again. Okay. Okay. So if I get the cage and I destroy, what all do I need to break along with the cage to actually trap this rabbit? That's more what I should probably be figuring out. Hmm. Um, hmm. I'm trying to determine if there's if either of these rabbits is going to be potentially slightly easier to trap, I don't think that's going to end up being the case here. Although, uh, if I destroy this at one right here, if I could ever force a rabbit to go down in this tunnel, unless my understanding is fundamentally incorrect, which it might be, that should allow me to trap it. Just for... Okay. Now I have that one broken in, so I destroy that one, and then I do something like this. Okay, well, clearly incorrect one to break. Um, let's see, it goes down as its first option. So now I'm going to jump back up, and I'm going to destroy this one instead. And now that that one's destroyed, I can break both of those. 
and uh, that was the wrong thing to break, I think. I wanted this one, and here. And I misplaced, I placed the tunnels in the wrong order, so I can't actually uh, get back to the top unless I do this. Okay, so it still gets stuck. And I also forgot that this doesn't give me a way to actually go anywhere. Oh? Hmm. Let's see. Because, unfortunately, since these puzzles are so much harder, this is going to definitely be the last one I can figure out, potentially. Although, if it drags on for too much longer, I might just have to bite uh, the bullet and go in the elevator. But, um... Hmm. Based on the fact... I know I need to get at least one square open in the middle to get the cage, and I know I need to get at least one square open on the rabbit to get the rabbit out. My guess is that I might just want to make a straight line going from one way to the other. Actually, yeah, why don't I just do that? If I break this one, uh, this one, this one, and... Uh, Actually, if I just break two on one of these and two edges on the cage, I might actually be able to do something. Let's jump back up and try that. And I drop in here. And now I do something like this. There we go. The rabbit's now here. Now then, um, if I want to trap this rabbit anywhere... Where would I want to trap it? Uh, if I put the cage here, it's going to go out the other side. If I put the cage up here, it should also go out the other side, which would break. Um. Hmm. Actually, I think I can get the rabbit to the same kind of area while only breaking one of the two holes on here. So I'm going to actually jump back up here. Do something like this. And now if I drop down here, let's see. I can get the rabbit here. And yeah, there we go. So I can now get it here. Which means that works. <laughs> I'll take it. For some reason I've been calculating and not just going straight into the other one. But yeah, alright. I guess I'm going to take the elevator and... I know I didn't get all that many rabbits actually caught this time, but I've beaten at least the base game of stuff now. So, yeah, I guess while we wait for these credits to go through, I... This is, unfortunately, nowhere even near the end of all the content in this game. Well, I say unfortunately for me, because I am not particularly good at it, and it only gets harder from here, so... I'm going to have to spend even more time on uh, the later levels to figure them out and all. But yeah, anyways, with that, uh, I guess I'll call it here. And in the next one, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll continue on with the game. So, bye.